Thursday, July 16, mix of sun and cloud this morning. Double digit lows are still below seasonal. Looking for a high of 22 to 25, which is almost to right at the seasonal mark. This is the cloud cover that's been stretched over our region all night last night. So we had a little bit more cloud cover than expected, but that's okay. Nothing too shameful with that, if you would. This is the disturbance we talked about last night, slowly but gradually moving Canadian side, if you would. It's just sitting over the Dakota states, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the northern Great Lakes. It has now captured most of the northwest Ontario geography and will capture more of the northeast Ontario geography, that being us. I'll take a look at the IntelliCast map next to see where our systems are located. And we're talking about some rain for Friday, but only for Hearst. Details coming up. Taking a look at some rainfall, I don't have any official reports yet, but things could change. This is a radar loop between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. There's a cluster of rain that's just moving right over the Hearst area. So I'm just watching this travel from west to east, following, of all places, Highway 11 like it always does. So there's nothing significant there for now, although there could be reports of some rain or showers around the Hearst area. And I'll keep an eye on Capuscasin to see if that's true as well. Across the whole rest of the province of Ontario, well, the high pressure systems that we talked about last night shifted over to just one high, which is right over the Ottawa Valley. And the clockwise flow around the high is now switching the wind pattern over to southerly, which is why we have a warming trend expected later on today. And the warming trend will come to the degree of maybe two or three degrees per hour. Uh, based on the public forecast, we could see a rather rapid warm up today, which is quite welcome. Combine that high pressure system right there with this low over here over Manitoba. It's going to create a wind tunnel of winds from the south, so it's a high and low working together, and we happen to be right in the middle of that. Long term, now we're looking at the direction of travel of this disturbance. There are some arrows showing stateside the direction of travel for the significant weather. I won't make too much of a fuss about this now because this will change gradually throughout the day and what I say now will obviously change by let's say the lunch hour. So for now just some cloud cover. This system will become our weather maker for some time on Friday which we'll talk about a little bit later on. That's your report for this morning. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great Thursday.